my name is Stanton Peel. I'm an addiction psychologist. I wrote a book called Love and Addiction in 1975. It was published just when I was out of graduate school. I was in my 20s. And that set me on a course for dealing with the addiction field. So I came to it from an unusual direction. I didn't come out of a treatment background or a recovery background. I came out of looking at addiction as an overall process. At first, people didn't know what to make of Love and Addiction. It was published uh, in 1975, and it said that addiction wasn't something limited strictly to drugs or alcohol. At the time, addiction meant heroin. When you said addiction, everybody said heroin in response. Cigarettes weren't considered to be addictive. People didn't generally refer to alcohol as addictive. Uh, anything, of course, that didn't involve the substance uh, would never be referred to as addictive. So. People had no idea of what I was saying, and I like to point out if we jump to the present, in the year 2012, the American Psychiatric Association Diagnostic Manual is for the first time now prepared, 35 years after I announced it, more than 35 years after I announced it, to recognize a non-substance related activity as being addictive, in this case only gambling. Uh, I also previewed, of course, harm reduction. During the 80s, I was a major voice saying that not all successful or improved outcomes involved abstinence, which of course ran against the AA meme and invited a tremendous amount of attacks on me. Um, in addition, I previewed what came to be seen as a kind of a cognitive, behavioral, environmental approach to addiction treatment, since I wasn't looking primarily at biological sources and I wasn't wedded, in fact I was antithetical to the 12-step approach. Uh, so finally, <clears throat> the last thing I think that I brought to the entire addiction field is a recognition that addiction has a broader set of implications, that it's wedded and embedded in society in really deep ways that can never be eliminated clinically. Certainly, they can't be eliminated biologically. So in many ways, going from an outsider perspective, not being within the field, coming into addiction with a book called Love and Addiction, I actually have previewed pretty much all of the major trends in the addiction field for the last third of a century.